Folks, my next guest tonight is the co-creator and star of HBO's High Maintenance. Please welcome Ben Sinclair. Hey. What a great group of people you have here. Aren't they lovely? They're absolutely lovely. This is... Yeah. It's just so nice to feel welcomed by, like, a group of professionals. Do you not normally feel welcomed by professionals? Is this unusual for you? No, I just feel like talking about it whenever I come across it, because it's worth saying. Like, if you can tell that you're a nice guy and it's a top-down thing, I've never... I'm, like, meeting you for the first time. Oh, that's very nice. If I like you right now for some reason. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who likes me, I'm a sucker for. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for being here. Congratulations yeah. on season two of High Maintenance yeah. on HBO. This show's got a fascinating story. Yeah. Like you, is this true? It started off. It was five years ago. It started as a as a as a Vimeo web series. Well, not even as a Vimeo web series. Five years ago, we released the first uh, three shorts, which we just did independently. My mm -hmm. co-creator and I. Uh, we released them on the air like a week after pot was legalized in Washington and, and Colorado. And that was like a mistake. We didn't even know that was happening. And Well, tell the people what it's about. To see why oh, that's High Maintenance fitting. is a series of short stories connected by a weed dealer. But it's not necessarily a show about weed. It's just short stories about people. Uh, and the weed dealer is gets a view of it because he gets that intimate moment yeah, in their lives. Yeah, you know, you're they're both breaking the rules together, the weed dealer and the customer, and there's a sort of intimacy that is kind of inherent in that interaction. And it's just, it's been a, a really like lovely experiment that has turned into this show. I'm so lucky. Like I'll, all the wow. time, I just think about like. Wow, like, this is my life, and... Now, uh, playing a weed dealer, um, did, did you have to do a ride-along or anything like that? Like, <laughs> did you have any personal experience? Have you ever dealt weed? Uh, so I, I never dealt weed. In seventh grade, I, uh, I took a bunch of leaves, and I put them in a bag, and I sold them to this kid, Danny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, it smells like orange leaves. And I'm like, yeah, it's Judd. It's a new drug. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what he'd do with it. I hope he's okay. So <laughs> this, there, it's a series of vignettes, and, and you enter in a, an enormous number of people's lives in the series. Is there anybody, like, you think could use a little chilling out? Anybody, like, you wish you could go as this character deliver weed to them? I mean... DJT, Donald J. Trump could really just like, I would, love to, I would love to sit down with him and be like, have some of this, and like, what's the matter? Like, <laughs> why are you acting like this? You don't need to be doing this, man. Like, Can you imagine him with the munchies, though? I, and I, and I, I like thought about this. I think he would be like regressed to even more of a baby, and he would probably like get very like, get out of me. And then like, you know. <laughs> He would probably get, like, really... Yeah, he would just not stop eating. It would be, like, maybe 18 or 19 Diet Cokes instead yes. of 14. Don't do it at the Oval Office desk, because, again, the buttons on oh, the desk. Oh, yeah, no, exactly. When you're high. You want to see a light show? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. You created this show with, uh, uh, with your then-wife, uh, Katya Blickfeld. Yeah. And uh, now ex-wife, but you're still creating the show together, uh, you're writing and producing it. And is that difficult? Is that, uh, well, how, is that a challenge? Oh, no, it was super relaxing. No, of course it... <laughs> of course. I don't yeah, know. We, I don't know. We were... We, we, uh... I was... I've been thinking about this a lot, uh, and I was kind of uh, reading a profile that was done about her in Vogue last night. Okay. And I was able to read it kind of without having a stake in it, and just, like, a first-time reader getting to know this person. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what a cool lady. What a, and like, there's uh, things written about our marriage in the article, and I was like, what a cool relationship. <laughs> like, this is, it, I'm just so happy for her. You know, she, one of the reasons that we uh, split up was because we, uh, we weren't ultimately happy because, you know, she came out as a lesbian and I came out as like a 
also a man who likes women, but women who like men. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and I just... So is, do you think, are you saying that it, it would be easier, it's easier to find out that she came out and her true happiness lies with being with another woman and that it would be easier to accept and say if she had uh, wanted to just be with another man? Sure, I guess we could do that thought experiment and, and like... <laughs> I thought yeah. you were doing that thought experiment. I thought well, you were already well, doing I, it. Well, I was just trying to say that I'm just so happy for her. And I just learned about love this year. I, like, there's a war on love right now. It's people... What do you, what do you mean? People, uh, there's so much hate flying around. There's so much bad energy flying around mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. And I was presented a situation in which I could feel very hurt or very replaced or, or something. And instead, I just realized that love is... True love is wanting the person that you love to be happy, whether you have something to do with it or not. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. It was lovely to meet you. Thank yeah, you so much so for being here. And congratulations yeah. on the series and on the love of it. High Maintenance returns this Friday on HBO. Ben Sinclair, everybody. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.